Hey everyone, I'm Todd C. Slater, The Simple Investor, and I'm coming to you live from our new head office and our new podcast booth, The Simple Podcast. So I just thought I'd get caught up on what's going on in the marketplace. I'm sorry, we haven't been able to do any uh, recent filming just because we were in the middle of our move. And now that we're here, I'm going to be excited about keeping you up to date on what's going on in the marketplace. And of course, with RBC announcing this past week, saying that this is going to be one of the biggest changes that they have seen in the real estate market, they start using the things such as 40%. So I need to give you some clarity because I think there's a whole lot of fear mongering going around and I'd rather make sure everybody understands what these numbers truly mean when the interest rates start to go up. So Bank of Canada, of course, they turned around and surprised everybody a little while ago with a 1% increase in the interest rates, which was huge. In fact, way more than most people were thinking was going to happen. So now here we are. Yep, interest rates are higher. Basically, you're looking at variable rates between 35 and 4%, fixed rates higher than that. So where do you go and what should we be thinking? Well, the one part, as I mentioned earlier, that the banks are now saying, you know, big market adjustment, biggest in 40 years. That has to do with the volume. So in other words, a lot of people are gonna sit on the fence. So it's not like your brick and mortar is gonna change that much value. In fact, what they've done is they've actually turned around and shown a number that says 12% from the peak. When was the peak? Well, that was February, this year, 2022. And remember, February had this weird rise. In fact, it went up, the market itself went up 5% in one month. So when we take a look at these numbers, these numbers are gonna be a little bit skewed. So what does a 12% from the height of the market truly mean? Well, it means that your values are gonna be going somewhere around September, 2021. You know, so if you were taking a look at the rise in the actual values, this is where we know that for a fact that you'll at least be break even. And this is what they're predicting to be the greatest change. So 12% from the actual peak. But you know, it doesn't help that they keep talking about the volume, but they don't say it's the volume, they just say 40% reduction. Now, I want everybody to keep one thing in mind. Right now, we've got historic low um, vacancy rates, you know, and so if you're an investor, if you're actually the only real estate investment, you get nothing to worry about. In fact, one of the things that we've recognized here at the Simple Investor is that tenants are more apt to pay their rent because they don't want to get kicked out and have to find a more exp you know, expensive rental. So these are the kind of things that, you know, I'm not seeing some of these so-called professionals talk about in the industry. And it's very disappointing because, you know, I think the fear mongering uh, when they come down like this, it's, it's to shock people. It's to get people to you know, realize that, you know, maybe they're in more debt than they, they thought they would be. And that's true. But remember, when we were turning around doing the stress test for the last three years, you still had to qualify at four and a half, five percent interest rates. So again, I don't want everybody like jumping off the cliff saying, oh no, Todd, you know, the sky's falling. The sky's not gonna fall. Everybody needs a roof over their head. And right now, as I said, I think that some of these, you know, economists, some of the bank people are just really pushing the buttons. It, 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 they're looking for headlines right now. And I think it's just to satisfy certain, you know, group of people. So. As I mentioned earlier, you know, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to try to keep you up to date more now. Finally, we're in our new studio. Uh, really, really exciting. Uh, again, we're out in Burlington and, you know, moving on from here, I'll try to keep you up to date on some of the news that's been breaking. Again, my take on it is this. I think that, you know what, the market's going to probably just kind of stay stagnant for the next six months. Yeah, we might see a little bit of during, downturn in price. Not a whole lot. And since most people had mortgages that they set up a couple of years ago, you have nothing to worry about. You know, think about it. What if you turn around and took a brand new mortgage last year, this time, five year fixed? You don't have anything to worry about for the next four years. So this is where the whole sky falling mentality of the banks and the economists, I think they need to check their numbers first and foremost, and they're gonna find out it's not nearly as dire as they're trying to make everybody believe. So at this time, I'd say, you know what, just stay pat. If you happen to own investment real estate, you're gonna be really lucky because quite frankly, your tenants gonna to wanna to pay every single month. They don't wanna move out because there's nothing to rent. Anyways, that's, uh, that's my first update here from the Simple Podcast booth and I look forward to telling you more. So we'll talk to you soon.